Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. The voice note that you just heard is from one of a few videos that are making their rounds on social media as it pertains to a 67-year-old man in a sentence that lost his life at the hands of some sorts of assailant. His name is Robert Campbell, more affectionately known as Fruity. He sells, he has his minivan, he sells food and fruits right across from the bus station right there, so by the transport center. However, at about 10 a.m. Friday, that would be his last day. Based on a report from the Popo, it is said that a lone assailant pulled up, blazed up a couple of corn, hitting him mostly in the head. He was rushed to the hospital. However, it was an exercise in futility. Pretty much he was D-E-A-D -E on the spot. That were just his last kick reflexes of a man trying to live. However, too late was the call. Now, if you remember a couple of years ago or a couple of months ago in the last year, I said St. Anne's is like a big P-U-M-S from back road that is just waiting to be F-U-C-K-E-D. And the reason that I said this is because noticeable, there's a whole lot of transplant, meaning riffraff from other places that were hot. They were moving to St. Anne's, specifically in the center of St. Anne's. Tourist mecca, clubs, all sorts of things, a whole bunch of excitement, beaches, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. However, that tourist mecca was going to change for the worse and people it has just started if you notice in the last couple of days or so a businessman can be right in the center of ochi they robbed this place take with the security guard blaze up the owner of that establishment over this said weekend a security guard ex popo officer he was working security at some sorts of casino he did not stand a chance either he was blazed up and that establishment was robbed. Now, people, when I heard that they killed a fruit man, I said to myself, I wonder if this man lives some sorts of double life. But when I hear that this man is actually 67, may I say to myself, Jamaica has really changed for the worse. Gone are the days when elders got some sorts of immunity, got some sorts of D-E-A-T-H pass from these wicked youths out there. But people with sissy, any and everybody can get it, whether you're pregnant, whether you're baby, whether you're granny, grandma, grandpa, they do not partial anybody, none at all. They will K-I-L-L -L just about anybody. We can come to the conclusion that more than likely this man at age 67 has no sorts of involvement in any sorts of gang activity. But again, the sad situation or fact is that if them can't catch Quarko, them catch him shut. Is this man family member of somebody that is hot that has crossed or double crossed somebody that is yet to be determined? Is this man taken out because of competition? Is there a next vendor that pretty much watch this man, see that this man is having success and see that all the customers are gravitating towards him? People, that is yet a next possibility. No sorts of information for validate that that is the fact. However, it is a strong possibility. So therefore, if when this man gone, you see, say, a next fruit man come and take his spot and people, an innocent man, can, and can come and jump at the situation and do the same thing. See that there is a need, but people, me just say, 
But whatever the situation, the fact is that somebody wanted this man gone and they made sure by putting a couple of pieces in our cranium. People, it is a very sad state of affair in a Jamaica. And this is yet a next perfect example. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, this one is called the power of the PUMS. Our men that cannot handle when that pumps, somebody else in a them gongo walk, that means uh, their girlfriend or wife, is giving away the pumps. However, people, whatever the situation, one should let better heads prevail. That means uh, if you find yourself in a circumstance like this, maybe you might not want to take her away. Maybe you might not want to hold her hostage at GUN point. Maybe you need to pack up a little dulcimina and leave or pack up for your dulcimina and tell her, bounce, hit the road, Jack Q. Lynn. Now, people, I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Midlands that is in Texas. Texas is in the United States of America. This beautiful young lady that you see on the screen, the picture that I can show you, there are other pictures in which... When this man held her at GUNR knife point, along with a next family member, along with a next child, don't know if a fear picked them. However, based on the information that is out there, it is said that this lady was accused of giving away the PUMS, unauthorized use of giving away the poems. People, this is my disclaimer before I proceed. If you are with a woman, whether she is your wife and you're married for a hundred years, if she decides to give away the PUMS or the husband decides to give away the COCKY, it can happen. It has happened. Most relationship and even worse, well not worse, marriages end 50% in a divorce and mostly because of infidelity. That means that somebody had cheated. Somebody a jump over, somebody fence, legally, consensually. Now, like I said, there are other pictures. These other pictures was when this lady was tied up. This lady head was shaved, bald. You could see the tattoo. So therefore, it seems as if this husband, this gruntal husband or boyfriend, sorry, he wanted to shame this lady. He wanted to make sure at least... She won't be going out cheating unless, of course, she have uh, one of them wig like Spice or one of them Barbie or Dolly, what them call it. So I decided to shave off her head, hold her at knife or G-U-N points. The popo had to intervene. There was some sorts of standoff for about 12 hours or so. Eventually, he surrendered. Eventually, this lady was was let, let out in safekeeping in the hands of the Popo relevant authority that is. So people like you see, I have some picture that nobody else has. The person that sent me the picture said, they don't know say top blogger in a Jamaica. That girl I see is a girl with kind of out there. Is a girl where she have she like for teas. It look like she have white liver or something. She not faithful. She a get a man born point blank and period without a shadow of a doubt. Now people like me say, a woman P-U-M-S is hers and a man C-O-C-K-Y is his. Morally and ethically, if you're in a relationship, you're supposed to keep your little tealy or your P-U-M-S in your little Victoria's Secret. However, we know that that has been breached many, many times, more than one would like to imagine or think. So therefore, if this should happen to you, do not take to the furthest extent, meaning that you're going to draw for some sorts of kitchen utensil or some sorts of farm utensil, meaning a bill or some sorts of machete or even any sorts of tool and decide say, you want to arm our, arm our family, arm our picnic, and then take away yourself or then give up yourself. Me just as say, be aware whenever you are in any sorts of relationship, it can go way, way left. Some sorts of trade can go on in which you did not authorize of the P-U-M-S or the C-O-C-K-Y. Now, truth be told, 
Based on what we've seen in the past with these Jamaican men overseas, when them get na them feelings or they feel as if they've been slighted or disrespected, they usually take it to the furthest extent. I have spoken about a couple of stories back to back in which at least four or five family members lose out, including kids in both cases. It is a good thing that this man does not have that type of caricature. That means that him take it to the worst extent. Decide to K-I-L-L this lady. I think that he was very upset, too upset. And he wanted to send out a message. He wanted to shame and disgrace this lady. Make everybody know what she was doing. However, based on information that I got, pretty much everybody know who are the type of girl or lady that she is. He is the last one to know. Luckily, this was not her last day on earth. Hopefully, she will learn from this experience. If you cannot be good, be very careful. The life that you save might be your own. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, there is a saying that goes something like this. What's understood does not need to be explained. That means that uh, when you see something clear as day, when you catch some teeth with them on it in a cookie jar, you should give them what you see on your screen right here. This picture that you see on the screen right here. That is Tarzan, Jane, and a little monkey. I think the monkey's name is Cheetah. There's a little boy also. How is it that them say Tarzan? When them call man Tarzan, that means uh, them can't breed nothing. But people, you get the point. They should get this type of justice. The jungle type. Now this lady is trying to explain that, listen, me just take a cab and me never know, say, the driver of them have some cow in the back. Pretty much what happened is that the poor poor them in a Manchester, Clarendon area, pull over a taxi, the same taxi you see, on your screen. When them search the taxi, them say, fresh, C-O-R-P-S. That means uh, them limb limb up some cow and cut it up in a quarters. Some in the back seat, some there in the chunk pad, hatch back like you see. So therefore them say, hold on a minute, wait, what go on here? So we have some sort of receipt, on a farmer, which part we come from? Based on the information, it is said that one man, don't know if he was a driver or the passenger in the front seat, him exit the vehicle and left, run, take away him life because him knows say luckily it was the popo and not the residents. We'll talk about this later. However, when him a run, it seems as if him a run so fast, him wallet drop out of him back pocket and them find the license. He is from Kingston, maybe Kingston 13, one of them place. The man where you sit on the ground, him come from Kingston also. The lady where you see in the car, the FT1 Mampi, she come from Kingston also. The vehicle registered to Kingston. Now, this happened in a Manchester Clarendon era. Now, people, truth be told, people from Kingston drive through Manchester Clarendon all the time. So, it is nothing new. However, when the driver or the person ran, female license from Kingston, them other two people are from Kingston, and then the car register in a Kingston. That makes it more than coincidental that more than likely them left from Kingston come thief in a Manchester. Thief the people and farm animal. Now you hear this lady explain and I am going to tell her something. It seems as if a lot of you guys don't watch bloggers. A lot of you guys don't read the notice board and see what has been happening to Pradial thief, people thief, people goat and cow, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. These people have to run for them life most of the time because the residents, they are kind of ticked off 
residents are tired of losing, farmers are tired of losing, so therefore more than likely I go lose a life. So Miss Mampi, FT, what you going to do if the people them did run you down and them two man run out of the vehicle only because of the po po why your life is spared? As a matter of fact, the person that sent me this video said, boy, it's a good thing, sir. Them never K-I-L-L -L them. And me I said, what do you mean? Why wouldn't they? Well, because a woman in the... Because of a woman. So therefore, if a woman a thief, and this is a big problem in a Jamaica, where makes she get involved? She not have picnic. And people, I don't want to sound like some sorts of chauvinist pig because everything me say, people take it out of context. It's as if them sit down and assess and analyze everything me say and find fault. Me just a say, if she knows she is a woman and don't want to get man treatment or teeth in man treatment, then she shouldn't turn her yard. If she have picnic, she take care of them. Teach them to read. Rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. So people, me just a say, should you, anybody else that has aspirations, aspirations, sorry, of being criminals, being gold teeth, then whatever you get at that you deserve, whether it is the Tarzan and Jane, the little monkey, and the little jacket son, because Tarzan can't breed nobody. I saw them tell me. The point that I'm trying to make is that, listen, leave people things alone. When you trouble people things, if them retaliate for every action is an equal and opposite reaction, sometimes that opposite reaction ends up in D-E-A-T-H of the most B-R-U-T-A-L type. That means uh, them treat you just like the cow, just like the goat, mutton and beef. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.